Welcome to the third lesson of this course. In this video, we'll talk about Stripe Connect, which is the fastest and easiest way to integrate payments into your software platform or marketplace. So let's get started with this tutorial. So here's what we'll cover in this lesson. We'll start off with discussing what Stripe Connect is and talk about its benefits. Next, we'll talk about how to register for Stripe Connect. Afterwards, I'll show you how to obtain and use your client ID within your Bubble app. Next, we'll talk about what are redirect URIs and how to use them. Then right after that, we'll talk about the difference between Stripe and Stripe Connect. We'll also then talk about the difference between a platform, a marketplace, and an extension. Finally, we'll talk about the types of seller accounts that you can use with the Stripe Marketplace Express plugin. So without further ado, let's get into it. So to start off, Let's discuss what Stripe Connect is and what are its benefits. So Stripe Connect is a feature that helps with not only collecting payments, but also sending payouts to recipients who need to get paid. So it's ideal for business models such as marketplaces and software platforms. An example of a marketplace app is Upwork, which is a marketplace where customers connect with freelancers and the marketplace is responsible for collecting payments from customers and sending out payouts to service providers. And the marketplace can even take commissions in the process. In fact, ZeroCode has a bubble template called Uplands that you can use to build a freelancing marketplace. You can have a look at it together with other templates on our templates page at zerocode.com slash templates. So what are the benefits of using Stripe Connect? Well, as mentioned with Stripe Connect, you can collect payments from customers and send payouts to vendors or service providers. You can enable other businesses to accept payments directly from your own platform. And Strap Connect also manages compliance for you. This is with regards to PCI and KYC obligations and other national regulations that vary from country to country. So it's now time to see how you can register for Strap Connect. So you can get started with Strap Connect by clicking on the Connect tab and then clicking on Get Started. Then simply select Platform or Marketplace and then click Continue. Afterwards, follow the prompt in order to complete the setup. So once Stripe Connect is set up on your account, you'll need to obtain your client ID and use it within your Bubble app. Let's see how to do that now. So in order to get your client ID, simply click on Settings and then under Connect, click Settings again and then scroll down to the integration section. Here, you'll be able to copy your client ID. And just like you did for the other API keys, you can paste your client ID for both the live version and the development version. But there are additional settings you need to make when using Stripe Connect, such as inserting a redirect URI. But you may be asking, what exactly is a redirect URI? So on this section right here regarding redirects, which is on the same page where you obtained the client ID, you are required to add a URI. And this is simply a page link from your Bubble app where users are redirected to after they have completed the onboarding process. But kindly note that it's important to add it only if you're connecting sellers who have a standard or an express account. We'll discuss more about the different types of seller accounts in just a bit. But while we're here, it's worth mentioning that you will need to enable your OAuth settings for either Express accounts or Standard accounts, or both if you'll be using these two types of accounts. This is important because an OAuth flow allows your users to onboard to Stripe using OAuth for that account type. However, you don't need to enable any of these settings if you'll just be using custom seller accounts for your Bubble app. So what exactly is the difference between Stripe and Stripe Connect? Well, in general, Stripe is a means of collecting payments from users or customers. And this is its most popular use case for more simple business models. For example, if you simply want to collect payments from selling products on your own online store, then the basic features of Stripe will help. And Stripe Connect is a feature that's built on top of Stripe. And it's not only used to collect payments from customers or users, it's also used to facilitate multi-party payments to send out payouts to recipients like we explained. 
so it's more suitable for more complex business models like platforms, marketplaces, and extensions. But what exactly do we mean when talking about platforms, marketplaces, and extensions? We'll now discuss the difference between a platform, a marketplace, and an extension according to Stripe. Let's now talk about a platform. So any business model that allows other businesses to process payments directly from their own customers is considered a platform. To clarify this further, let's make an example of Shopify, which is a store builder that enables businesses to set up their own online stores. So because shop owners can accept payments directly from their own customers, Shopify is considered an e-commerce platform and it generates revenues from the individual shops that have been built on top of it. So if your app will allow businesses to process payments directly from their own customers, then your app can be considered a platform. Let's now talk about a marketplace. So any business model that collects payments from customers and makes payouts to recipients is considered a marketplace. We made an example earlier about Upwork, but we can also talk about Uber. So because Uber collects payments from riders or customers, then later makes payouts to its drivers, Uber is considered a marketplace app. So if your app will be collecting payments from customers, then later making payouts to recipients, then your app can be considered a marketplace. Let's now talk about an extension. You can think of an extension as a plugin that's developed to extend Stripe's functionality. Extensions can also be used to connect Stripe with other services. For example, there's a Shopify extension that allows shop owners to accept payments from customers using Stripe. And that's the difference between a platform, a marketplace, and an extension. But when utilizing Stripe Connect, it's important to understand that there are different types of seller accounts that your app can create or connect to. So let's now talk about the different types of seller accounts. So there are three different types of seller accounts. You have standard accounts, express accounts, as well as custom accounts. Standard accounts take the least effort to integrate and administrate. And there are no platform fees that you'll need to pay to Stripe when using standard accounts. Express accounts offer a hybrid option that allows platform owners to customize some aspects while Stripe takes care of onboarding, verification, and account management. Thus, they are more quicker to implement but platform fees do need to be paid to Stripe when using these type of accounts. Lastly, you have custom accounts. And as the name suggests, custom accounts offer a white label solution with total control over the user experience. Thus, they take more time and require extensive development resources in order to implement. Also, you will need to pay fees when using custom accounts. And that brings us to the end of lesson three. And in the next lesson, we'll talk about plugin elements, which are an important part of the Stripe Marketplace Express plugin. So if you'd like to learn more about how this plugin works, then I'll see you on the next one.